So this appears to be another Alto basket case uh, with boards that don't match and uh, actually the monitor is not that of an Alto, it's one of uh, Dorado, it has more electronics in it. Um, so what did that extra board do, uh, Ken? The uh, one with the 6502 on it. So, so this encodes the keyboard um, key switches and it puts it as a 7-wire protocol which is a differential ECL protocol used by Xerox. So that's for the next generation machine. We'll have to do a temporary conversion back to Alto. Look at that shiny monitor, it looks like new. Get apart, clean it all up. So this, the status of cabling on this machine is pretty poor. Um, this was actually not an Alto monitor, so we had to reconfigure it back into an Alto monitor uh, by making a patch cable here. It is flashing. I mean, is that like the under voltage or? No, I think it's it's, it's a live from the tester. Yeah, I assume it's a happy flash. Okay, so I'm ready for power on this. Uh, so we have the fire extinguisher before? close by. Yeah, yeah. I, I, have I, we I, ever powered this on before? No. Um, so we have a very long stick. Okay, who wants to flip the switch? That's the wrong question to ask, because you know the answer to that. Uh, <laughs> it's me. It's, who will volunteer? Uh, and up, you think it's good? All right. Didn't hear any noise at all. You see the filament. Yeah, you see a filament. Well, I have to look inside and risk my life. Yes, filament is... Nope. Yeah, filament. Filament is filamenting. Uh, Brightness. Uh huh. It did not, but it looks like it has no life. Uh, it doesn't work. Okay, let me turn it on and off. So there is some life. And this is the tester pattern. This is definitely a tester pattern. So it's a nice bright tube. Come on, he he has. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> with with the glass, you have the glasses too. I'm the only one without glasses, and you were you were sending me to turn on the thing. What the team Here's the glasses. Is that? Here's some glasses. Okay, I'm fine. I have some glasses on. It it. it Okay, that's definitely good looking here. With a little tester, nothing. Okay. Okay, that's, that's a very bizarre problem. It is. But it works when you turn it off. Uh, we still see nothing on the front. Except when you turn it off, and so we check first the video section to see if the signal is coming out and that's our tester input and that's the vertical sync and the video section signal is beautiful exactly what it should be right slightly uh, above ground but 55 volts max so it's picture perfect so that's not it um, must be something else we are thinking the grid bias somewhere that should could be wrong so, Carl, you brought your super duper. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the high voltage stuff, all right. The laser saver for repairing CRTs, all right. Just a second, okay. The, the high voltage gets developed here and something is wrong because it gets zero. So we think the first stage of high voltage is across 
this diode, this lamp, this diode, and this capacitor. So I'm on on the cap and see if we can get a non-electro boom movement. And zero volts, nothing at all. Alright, so either lamp dead or so the first stage doesn't even work. So either the lamp or the diode. Yeah. Can, can we measure the resistance across the lamp? Yeah. Or yeah. to the other side of the lamp. Yeah. So we took the board out and we believe it's uh, that lamp which is probably used as a negative resistor, right? Uh, as a regulation and that is I get big resistance from it. So it, oh it's broken. Ah. ah okay yeah that's a problem. <laughs> Alright. Okay well we found it. Alright, uh, so the lamp is not even attached. What do you mean not attached? Uh, the the, the uh, lead was broken off it. It broke at the bulb. I, I got that a lot with old lamps. Okay, okay. Well, that would be Whatever explain uh, why we don't have any high voltage. Let me try to get it out completely. So, any idea where we can get one? There we go, so that's the little part and it's broken right off. Darn camera. Stay here. Stay. And one of the leads has broken off right at the lamp and so we think that's the fault. <laughs> So I think I barely managed to attach it. Can you get a picture of the top of the bulb and that's my reattach wired right on the glass here. I semi acrobatically resoldered the uh, lead on the light bulb and we playing for success here, so I'm just going to do go for it. No such luck. Well, it takes a little while for the phone at the glove, right? Yeah. I don't hear anything. No, yeah, no, it works! How is it? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, well, it's even. My eyes way bright. Okay. It looks like a little ring there. Yeah, that's the tester. We had that on the other one. Okay, well, one monitor repaired, uh, then we, we have to adjust it. Trying to test it on our own this also. Thing, this thing says it's on. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's, very, oh, it's much better than our screen. What a great display. Oh my goodness. Night and day. Right. Yeah, because that. Uh, it's a little toward the left. Yeah, so the... It seems to be focused okay. Okay, coming up with the tools. Alright. Yeah, there is a one. One focus. Alright. Looks pretty good, otherwise. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just blended. 